Howdy, y'all. You guessed it. The day has come. We've got on our black Barracuda t-shirts. We get to figure out what color this car is going to be. Unfortunately, it didn't go exactly as planned. We did get paint on the car. It's not quite finished. But I'm not going to let y'all keep hanging. As it does look pretty good. And I'm quite pleased with the color choice. So, let's uh, take a look in here. Reveal this color, and we'll go over what went wrong, look at the materials we used, and how we're going to correct these problems. So, let's take a look. Alrighty guys, here it is. You guessed it. Well, actually, no one guessed it. Low glass, satin black. Exactly what I wanted for my car. Hopefully it doesn't break the internet today. I highly doubt it. I mean, I'm sure there's a few of them out there like it. But anyway, we, uh, we did get it all in paint. We had some issues with the actual paint though. Um, I'll go over what that was. So we had to do a sealer coat on top of what we had here. We had just a few little minor metal spots poking through. And um, so the sealer coat needs to be basically painted on, you know, within 10, 15 minutes of application. It makes all the paint and sealer just all bond together into one nice big happy paint sandwich. So sealer coat went great looked amazing however when we got to our matte kind of low gloss finished paint um, there was some solid stuff in it that we just couldn't get out in time uh, it was clogging up our strainers um, we kind of made do we had to put paint on it just to get our sealer coat to be sealed and not have to do that again also and um, what resulted was, well, basically just kind of some chunks in the paint. It's all fixable. It has a complete coat of paint on it, about a you know, paint coat and a half, maybe, give or take. And, um, but unfortunately, there's more sanding involved. Whole car has to be wet sanded again and probably papered off again. And luckily, we have enough paint, hopefully, I think. Um, we'll. Uh, We'll talk about paint selection here also. But um, without further ado, we'll just um, get this camera off tripod and we'll kind of just do a little walk around here and let you guys see what I see because you can't tell from there. So let's take a look. Alrighty, folks, here she is. I think it turned out really pretty well. Body work paid off here. So as you all know, painting a black car is probably one of the more difficult colors to shoot. And, uh, yeah. But I'll uh, kind of do some zooms here on some of our issues that we're going to have to do some sanding on. Uh, let's see. Let's find some stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, start to see it on this fender. Kind of got little pimples in it. Yeah, that's our solid materials that did not get completely broken down. Not terrible. Some more of it right here. Honestly, kind of hard to see if the camera can even pick this up, but. I imagine it probably is. How about that body work, guys? That is one straight fish right there. Probably straighter than it ever was from the factory. Well, we can kind of see back here. Uh, we, uh, we got about halfway through shooting this to realize that obviously it wasn't going to work out. So this is really pretty much a light coat. Again, we just had to get something on it 
so that the sealer would all bond together. But the real secret is um, the package that this car is going to be equipped with. It's what we would call a, a clone, right? Which again will probably break the internet. I don't really care. Again, my car. <laughs> but uh, keen-eyed of y'all would have noticed that we have a particular layout of trim to put on this car. I'll let y'all guess on that for a moment before I tell you. But it involves a set of stripes. Go from there up to there. Yep. If you guessed it, you're actually a purist. You know what I'm talking about. This is going to be a Formula S tribute or clone car, however you want to say it. Triple black. Got your nice low gloss black here. Gonna have some beautiful high gloss Formula S stripes running down the side of this car. And I don't think y'all have really seen what I've done with the interior yet, but you guessed it, also black. So, you know, it is not a perfect restoration, as we know. This poor car has seen better days, and, well, these are the best days it's ever going to see. It's got a nice little race to do in Sykeston this year. Hopefully I can get it put back together in time for uh, at least a little bit of testing too, because <laughs> it may be the first time it's ever been on a racetrack within the last 30 or 40 years, so let's just hope that goes well. Got a lot to do yet, and we will uh, definitely be wet sanding for the next couple of days, and with any luck, it will have another coat of paint on it this week. So, we'll get a proper reveal photo after uh, it actually gets to cure in the sun for a day or two and, you know, really look its best because this was literally like one coat. Maybe a coat and a half. So, we're shooting for three on it and hopefully it turns out perfect because, well, with this type of finish, you get what you get. So, Wish us luck. We'll, uh, we'll go talk about our materials that we've been using for this project and what we're going to be doing to you know, keep our paint pimples from happening. Because that's kind of annoying. But easily repaired. So let's check out what we're using to paint. All right, y'all. So now that we've seen, you know, our failure here. Not really a fail. We just got to repeat a couple of steps. We'll talk about the materials we're using, what we need to do to correct the problem. So we're using this Urochem uh, Slick Flats Low Gloss 2K Urethane by Urochem. Seems like really nice stuff. You know, if we had mixed it up properly, obviously, which comes to a paint mixer. Yeah, we kind of skipped a step there. We're not a paint body shop. We don't have a paint mixer on hand. And we were in a real time crunch, obviously. So, we have a, got a paint mixer here, um, built out of a really cool tire filled with concrete and an axle shaft sticking out of it. Hold it up, because these suckers will dance all over the shop if you're not careful. But that will break down all the solid stuff in this uh, paint and uh, which is what I've been told is a flattening agent to make that nice low gloss look so hopefully that cures our problem I don't know if it will I I guess it will I don't know <laughs> but that should help make this paint actually spray nice and flat without all the paint pimples chunks and stuff like that it's not dirt um, you know 
we, we've got that mitigated pretty well. We've got booth pretty well sealed, we've got water on the ground, all that good stuff. So, you know, try again. That's all we can do. Anyway, guys, that does it for today's episode. We are currently in the middle of wet sanding again. So, next week, we'll do this again and hopefully have better results. So, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.